What's up, chums? Sharky here, and welcome back to the Shark Bites podcast. I'm by myself again. There's been a lot going on in my life lately. I feel like I need to talk about it and just kind of reflect on it. This podcast episode is mostly going to be some thinking that I've been doing about my involvement in the furry fandom. I just want to kind of explain how I feel about things. I've been in the fandom officially for about four years now, and when I first joined the fandom back in 2017, it was a lot of fun. Like, when I first got involved. I got my fursuit. I was ecstatic. Like, I started making YouTube videos that were furry related, and I felt like I found like-minded people. I felt like I found my niche that I could make YouTube videos on, start to be involved, and make a difference in the furry fandom. So that was back in 2017. And then over the course of me going to, like, GFM 2018 and 2019, it was still fun. Like, I had a lot of fun with my friends at the cons and stuff and it was really a lot of new stuff that I had never really experienced before having grown up with not a lot of friends and not a lot of people that I had things in common with. I would say like over the course of the last year and a half or so things have changed. I'm not leaving the furry fandom but I did have an encounter with someone who is not a furry recently that brought some things to light that kind of made me think about how involved I was becoming in the furry fandom. So what I mean by that is by 2019 I was really involved in local groups or I was I was wanting to be on like con staff or like I wanted to host local meets and kind of like admin for people things of that nature. And so I I I felt like I was very involved. Like, I was on all the social media sites, you know, I was on Instagram, I was on Twitter, and just everything I could think of, and I wanted to get my name kind of out there a bit. I saw what other furries were doing as far as, like, social media and on YouTube, and I was like, oh man, like, that would be really cool. People who like my videos and stuff to follow me and stuff, because I never really had that. Like, even with my artwork, and stuff. I did have a small, I don't know what to call them, a small like fan group of people that liked my artwork um, when I was younger, but like when I started to like gain a following on YouTube, it kind of started to go to my head a little bit. I've always said like I don't want to be popular. I don't really know how to explain this, but I think like as I started to get deeper into the furry fandom, I started to become jealous of other furries in the fandom. Like, people that were better artists than me, people that were, you know, more popular fursuiters than me, and I started to compare myself to other people, which I feel like is a common problem within the fandom itself. But it, it like, changed me, because I never used to be that kind of person that would compare myself to other people and be like, oh, like, they're more popular than me. Like, I didn't care about that stuff, but I feel like, you know, my last four years in the fandom had really changed me in positive ways, but also in some negative ways as well. It got to a level that was unhealthy, but I I never really did anything about it. And it wasn't just that, but it was also like there was a lot of drama and a lot of negativity this last year and a half. And I would just complain about it and complain about it and not really take any steps to get away from it or to really do anything about it. Someone who basically wanted to talk to me about my involvement in the furry fandom. I was attending a Bible study group that this person was a leader of, and they sat down and talked with me last week. At first, like, I felt like they were calling me out for being a furry, and, like, I was really upset about it and, like, angry because they were assuming things about me that were not true, and I wanted to set the record straight. So I did sit down with them. And then like after we talked, when I told him all the things that I was involved in and how stressed I was becoming, I needed to step back and take a break and really look at things from 
you know, an outside perspective of like, okay, maybe this is to an unhealthy level and I need to, you know, assess my mental health. The whole reason that I joined the furry fandom, it was something that was fun and it was something that was a social outlet for me and I wanted to meet people that were like me and that's what it started out as and it was, you know, a positive thing for the most part. But then, like, after COVID and, like, just the overall sense of negativity and mentality that the fandom was giving off mostly on twitter but like on other platforms too a lot of the groups that i was involved in on telegram just degenerated over time and people were i understand like people were upset and they were you know venting a lot more than usual because of not being able to do things or losing their jobs or you know just things related to covid and i totally understand that but it was creating an environment that was super Super negative and I was still reading that stuff and like involved in that stuff and I actually had to step down from being admin because I just it got to a point where I was not having fun it was just stress I turned the furry fandom into a job essentially because I felt like pressure from myself like I have to know everything that's going on all the furry drama I have to you know I have to make videos every week or every month or whatever but no one was telling me to do that like it was stuff that I had signed up for myself and I had involved myself in and it just got to a point where it was unhealthy and it was not fun for me anymore so I really had to step back and that is the reason why I'm taking a break from YouTube which I have done in the past but it was more an unannounced break it was kind of just I got busy with things and I didn't have time but this time I'm actually purposefully taking a break because I just 2020 and just COVID and everything negative and stressful I just cannot handle it right now and I need a break. I'm not leaving the fandom. I'm not, you know, like deleting my YouTube channel or anything. It's it's just it's a lot. Like I had to leave Twitter. I have been talking about leaving Twitter for a year <laughs> pretty much and I never did. I never did anything about it until now. I finally cut myself off from Twitter. I feel great. <laughs> like I just deleted my account um this past week and it felt good good. Stepping down as admin also felt good. And I don't mean any disrespect to my friends that I was admining for. It it has nothing to do with you guys. Like, you know who you are if you're listening to this, but I had to step down. I had to step back. And I realized that, like, I can still be part of the furry fandom and not try to be involved in absolutely everything and go all out in every sense. Like, I don't have to be on staff at a con for people to like know who I am and I don't have to push myself so hard for attention like that's just dumb and that's not who I am that's not the type of person that I am I truly am a genuine person I really tried to you know not be somebody that I'm not because I feel like a lot of people especially in the YouTube industry they're different on camera than they are in real life and I want my videos to reflect who I am in real life and it's it's not you know a facade it's not a character that I put on my persona and you know who I wear as a costume and like who is in my videos is the same person as me in real life I'm very like honest with people I'm very straightforward I don't like dealing with drama I don't like talking about people in a negative way. It's definitely been, I think 2020 as a whole has definitely been a time of self-reflection um, in a positive way. And, you know, all the friends that I've made in the furry fandom still mean a lot to me. And I don't want people to think that, you know, the guy that I had talked to was like trying to put me down for being a furry. It was more just like the level that I was involved to where being a furry was the only thing in my life. 
I would kind of drop other things to be involved in furry things. And I don't think it should be like that. You know, like I was sacrificing time with my family, doing commissions when, you know, I should be spending time with my family and my friends. Like, I think my priorities were just out of whack. And I'm trying to make efforts to restructure that. My boyfriend means the world to me and my family and my friends as well but it's like I really feel like I needed to step back and like focus on my relationship with him my sister's about to have a baby soon and I don't want to distract myself you know when I should be there for her and like the furry stuff is all well and good and it's all for fun but it's like it's not the entirety of who I am like I'm actually a person you know who like I have a life outside of the internet and I have you know obligations I have a job that's full-time that really drains me and that's another reason why I don't have a lot of time for videos nowadays but I still enjoy doing videos but I want to make sure that I'm making them for the right reasons I just wanted you guys to all understand kind of what I'm going through I honestly felt like these last couple weeks I have been angry I've been depressed I really felt like I was having an identity crisis to an extent I am taking a massive break from from the fandom honestly i've left a lot of telegram groups i've deleted my twitter i've closed my commissions i'm holding off on videos for a while i'm still planning on doing my unboxing for sharky 2.0 I'm tired and I need a break. So I just wanted to thank everybody who has supported me through my lack of uploading and like they care about me as a person and they want to see me succeed and be healthy and that means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.